Okay, well, we're gonna finish our awesome costume here because we were just getting into the details of our little buddy. For those just joining us, a little Rick, Rick it Ralph, you know, uh, reference here, right? Yep, good old vanilla Pivon Street. <laughs> um, this is the candy cart. I built this, uh, my best friend and I sat and took a week and we built it. Um, it's primarily made from cardboard, duct tape, and um, pool noodles. Mm -hmm. um, we actually just bought some striped pool noodles rather than trying to figure out how to build exhaust pipes for a fake candy cart for a dog. <laughs> of course, yeah. Um, and it's obviously like a little Flintstone car and you mm -hmm. just lift it off and place it on. And she's so she's so cool with it. That is so awesome. Unbothered queen. Yes, Toothless the Puppy. <laughs> toothless Unbothered the Puppy. Queen. And then uh, Dr. Strange came to town with a very quick 20-minute uh, costume change. Well done, well done. Okay, Dr. <laughs> Strange, talk to us about your outfit. Break it down. Well, this is... Uh, one of my earlier costumes that I've made, mm -hmm. uh, I, it's a little bit different. This is kind of where you can take costuming and add your own twist because uh, the fabric choices is not movie quality or <laughs> accurate, but right. for my version, it works perfect. for my you know feminine version of Doctor Strange, mm -hmm. I wanted a floral pattern and it's just kind of really taking, taking yeah. it and making it your own. Now show them how the magnets work. It's really cool. So you use magnets? Magnets yeah. to hold my my cloak up, so that way um, the it's hidden. If I, someone were to step on my cloak, no problem. No problems. No problem. So. And one thing you guys were mentioning that in terms of travel too, they really help when you're traveling because you know you you have to you travel and you don't want to break everything that you already made. So magnets work out well. Magnets are kind of my go-to favorite thing in mm -hmm. uh, with costuming. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> and over here, this is great. So you you went online. I remember paying 35 bucks for my Walkman. When you went online to see how much they cost now, how much do they cost? So after the Guardians of the Galaxy movie came out, yeah. like this specific Walkman, which came out in the 80s, yes, 70s, whatever. Yes, I was in high school, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, they're like $800 on, on <laughs> which eBay, is crazy. which is crazy. Yeah. yeah. So this is just a 3D printed shell that mm -hmm. has electronics built inside of it okay. for a uh, Bluetooth speaker. Mm -hmm. So Star-Lord walks around the con. I can walk around the con and dance. So I can turn on music just yep. right from my phone and so awesome. it plays and I can attach it to my belt and you can just dance and just like Star-Lord would in the movie. Of course. Yeah. All right. And Paige, last but not least, I'll get on this side. All right. So awesome stuff. You, how many costumes did you make this year? You're on your third or fourth? This is the fourth. Wow. Yeah. I typically like to do a couple builds every year, mm -hmm. but uh, it's kind of crazy, you know, with all the of different course. costumes. I I probably could not count how many costumes I've So probably I've done. between all four of you, we're looking at a couple of hundred. Oh, easy. yeah. Easy. A couple of hundred <laughs> costumes in your repertoire. <laughs> what, what, if you guys have learned anything, be creative, right? For those at home, just be creative and use your imagination, right? If you're looking at the out for Halloween costumes for amateurs like us. Yeah, yeah. You know, don't feel bad about not being able to make anything. You know, mm -hmm. buying it is perfectly fine. Uh, I guess the best advice, if you are going to be buying your costume, just give it a nice steam, nice iron, and okay. you'll be good to go. Awesome. Good stuff. You guys, thank you so much. Yeah. So awesome. You guys, all the wardrobe changes. That was amazing. I want to thank your mom and dad for coming. They're part of the family now. You can't come without your mom and dad. That's so cool. All right, Wayne, I hope we get you some great ideas. I mean, you look like the Dapper Dan, so maybe that's your costume. Wayne Dawson is Dapper Dan. I'm in costume.